All that you have done to us, O Lord, you have done with true judgment. But we have sinned against you and have not obeyed your commandments. But give glory to your name and deal with us according to the value of your mercy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your Spirit. Spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. All we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who manifest your almighty power above all by pardoning and showing mercy, bestow, we pray, your grace abundantly upon us, and make those hastening to attain your promises heirs to the treasures of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <laughs> A reading from the book of Job. Job said, Pity me, pity me, O you my friends, for the hand of God has struck me. Why do you hound me as though you were divine, and insatiably prey upon me? Oh, would that my words were written down, would that they were inscribed in a record, that with an iron chisel and a and with lead, they were cut into rock forever. But as for me, I know that my vindicator lives and that he will at last stand forth upon the dust, whom I myself shall see. My own eyes, not another's, shall behold him. And from my flesh, I shall see God. My innermost being is consumed with longing. The word of the Lord. Thank you. Our responsorial song. I believe that I see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. I believe that I see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. Hear our Lord, the sound of my call. Have pity on me and answer me. Of my heart, of you my heart speaks, you my glance seeks. I believe that I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Your presence, O Lord, I seek. Hide not your face from me. Do not in anger repel your servant. You are my helper. Cast me not off. I believe that I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to the Lord. Jesus appointed 72 other disciples, whom he sent ahead of him in pairs to every town and place he intended to visit. He said to them, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Go on your way. Behold, I am sending you like lambs among wolves. Carry no money bag, no sack, no sandals, and greet no one along the way. To whatever house you enter first, say, Peace to this household. If a peaceful person lives there, your peace will rest on him. But if not, it will return on you. Stay in the same house and eat and drink what is offered to you, for the laborer deserves his payment. Do not move about from one house to another. Whatever town you enter and they welcome you, eat what is set before you. Cure the sick in it and say to them, The kingdom of God is at hand for you. 
whatever town you enter and they do not receive you, go out into the streets and say, The dusk of your town that clings to our feet, even that we shake off against you. Yet know this, the kingdom of God is at hand. I tell you, it will be more tolerable for Sodom on that day than for that town. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning. Well, we can be assured to tell David when he returns back from his hospital stay that uh, we can barely do this service without him. <laughs> For we rightfully, we, we don't have the candles lit. He would normally take care of the candles. The window unit is on. He would normally make sure the air conditions are all shut off. So, yeah, we, gosh, we can barely get by without David. So that's, that's true today. Um, I believe I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Our faith is based upon hope. And that is the, really one of the most beautiful concepts that the book of Job can teach us. For we can look at the book of Job and what plights Job endured and say, oh, wow. But when you really break Job down, and that's one of the beautiful aspects is, Scripture always says, despite what Job endured, he never cursed God. He would always say something as a blessing toward God. Now, did he, toward the end, question God? Yes, it's the question of man, why God? Why do bad things happen to good people? And it does not provide an answer. It does not provide an answer. But needless to say, it does remind us of something. And this is what spread this gospel uh, in the beginning when the apostles went out. And that is the message of hope. We are a people of hope that we know it's easy to bless God and to have a smile on your face and joy in your heart when you've won the lottery, when things are going great. It's easy to give glory to God, but our hope has to be much more. For when we are down, defeated, when it feels like the weight of the world is upon us, when we're deciding, can I buy food? Can I buy medicine? How can I get a job? I'm possibly gonna lose my house. My spouse is sick or children are sick. When we're struggling with these pertinent issues that we struggle with daily, people in our parish are still are struggling with these issues daily. And they, they turn to God in hope and say, Lord, I may not see it in this life. It's, it may not. But I know I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. For this is only a transition. My home, my goal is eternal blessedness in heaven. So if I have to endure the pain of suffering, of loss. If I have to endure the questions, the confusion, the chaos, no matter what I have to endure, I do not curse the name of God. I give Him a blessing. And that's the beautiful thing that we can take for Job. Because even Job said to his wife, we accept the good things that come from the hand of God. Should we not also accept bad. May Almighty God be with you. May He bless you. The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Coming together as one family in faith, we offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for our Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians who pray to the Lord. Lord yeah, I pray. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day, and those who care for them. We pray for the Lord. Lord yeah, I pray. 
We pray for, for David and for so many of our parishioners who are sick and struggling at this time, that God may continue to bless them and remind them of the hope that they share. We pray, the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the repose of the soul of Daniel Portner and the consolation of his family for whom this Mass is being offered today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude asking Mary, the Mother of God, to intercede for us as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, but through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. <coughs> Prayer, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand. For the praise and glory of his name, I will never be known of all this holy church. Grant us, O merciful God, that this our offering may find acceptance with you, and that through it the wellspring of all blessing may be laid open before us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word whom we made all things, whom he sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, Fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosts are in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosts are in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew all, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. For you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim the death of the Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection 
and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. To remain with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I'll leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Remember your word to your servant, O Lord, by which you have given me hope. This is my comfort when I am brought low. Let us pray. May this heavenly mystery, O Lord, restore us in mind and body, that we may be co-heirs in glory with Christ, to whose suffering we are united whenever we proclaim his death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thank you, Thank you God. God. Prayer to Saint Michael. Oh, oh Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the sinners of the devil. May God be with you in the name of your prayer. And to you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine powers, thrust into hell, Satan, and all the evil spirits, the one that is in the world, seeking the ruin of our souls. Amen. The divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus, the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, the most chaste spouse. Blessed be God, his angels, and his 